All right, Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala. Back at it again with another Lord's Word Edifying video through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and other bishops of Great Millstone, who still go out there in the highways and hedges, and feed us with the 100% truth, according to the Bible, and Haruel, and Shalawam, Labachoyim, Wabarakim, Shagasharala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel, and the Lashem of Kodash, the Hebrew tongue. And pretty much, man, the this is going to be going into, you know, rewarding for your works, you know? Pretty much, uh, you know, the re you reaping what you sow, so to speak. As a matter of fact, let's start off with this one. Let me let, let me start off with this. Let me start off with Galatians. Bear with me. This is the book of Galatians. Let's start off with that precept. This is Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. And it reads, this is Galatians 6, verse 7. And it says, Be not deceived. Yahweh Baal Yahushua is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that's how he also reaps. So you get paid back for what you put in the earth, man. You see, you know how these false prophets, teachers, and leaders, and the majority of our people, they're, they're in wickedness, man. So guess what they're going to reap? They're going to reap destruction. That's why the Lord is sending forth deletion in the four corners of the earth, you know, and particularly here in America, man. Our people get it deleted left from right in horrific ways, man. You see? But that's the Lord judging them for their wickedness, man. You reap what you sow, okay? You sow the seed, now you're going to harvest it, man. Now you're going to harvest what springs up, which is destruction, right? You labor the wickedness, so that's what you're going to get. I'm going to read this again. This is Galatians 6, verse 7. Be not deceived. Yahweh by Shemiah and Shah is not marked. For whatsoever a man soweth, what means in plant, that shall he also reap. Yeah, you're going to harvest it, man. You see, what springs up is what you, which is what you work for, and that's what you're going to receive, man, which is that destruction. If you're wicked, now if you're part of the elect, which we're hoping to be, you sow their righteous works, you plant in the seed of righteousness, you're going to harvest uh, deliverance and salvation, man. Lord's willing, you know, even if we got to get put to death for the names of the Lord, it's still a win-win, you know. So this is verse 8. It says, for he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption now corruption means destruction that's what it says in my sword man so if you sow into this to sow into this flesh okay you're in all into this world you know what i mean you don't think this kingdom ever is going to go down you're in a carnal mind state. you're not thinking what does said the lord does said the bible say you're going to receive destruction man referring to our people your so-called negroes latinos and native american indians man you love in the world, which is, if you love the world, you're an enemy of the Lord, as it is written. It says, and it reads on, but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Yeah, the elect of the nation of Israel, they're going to make it on the first go around, man, and receive their everlasting life, okay? Their immortality, you see, on the first go around, you know? Because why? They feared the Lord. They kept the commandments. They kept doing the work of the Lord all the way to the end, man. Lo Yahweh Shah said to himself, he says, he that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. They're going to get delivered. They're going to be rescued. Okay. And they're also not going to receive the MOTB, man. You see? Even if they had to lose their life, man. For the name of Yahweh by Shah. So now, let's see. We're going to go from there. To the book of Proverbs, chapter 1. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to read down. This is Proverbs 1, verse 20. That's where I'm going to start. It says, Wisdom crieth without. She uttered her voice in the streets. That's, that's us out there in the highways and hedges. Okay. It says, Now also we're making videos on the internet. It says, She, she cried up in the chief place of concourse and the openings of the gates, like the downtown areas. In the city, she uttered four words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity, and the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge, right? Disagreements, all right? Lean into their own understanding. How long the majority of our people is going to be doing that? 
okay? Because the word simple means a lack in intelligence or a lack in common sense or a.k.a. lack in the fear of the Lord, right? Verse 30, verse 23, it says, Turn ye at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Yeah, how is that going to happen by way of the men of the Lord? You see? Starting off with the head apostles and other bishops or great millstone on down, that's going to teach you the correct way how to break down the scriptures and live your life according to the scriptures, right? Your do's and what you don't need to do. According to the Bible, verse 24, because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Yeah, about it. Let's talk about majority of our people, man. They don't regard what's coming out of the scriptures when we bring it out. You see? Like, but guess what? Like it says in Second Edges 15 and 4, all the unfaithful is going to die on their unfaithfulness anyway. That's why we don't worry about it. Verse 25, it says, But ye have set at naught or ignored all my counsel, which the counsel of the Lord is the prophets. It says, And will none of my reproof, which means correction. Verse 26, I, will, I also will laugh at your calamity and will mock when your fear come, if you know when it was an example of that, this hurricane, you see, these people about to catch a whole lot of hell by way of this hurricane, the, the wicked of our people, but the men of the Lord, Lord's who will be a part of the elect, you know, the Lord is going to protect us, you see, because those that are judging from the Lord, those things were created for the wicked of our people, man, the ones that don't want to get right, you know, so when we hear these different reports and the reports that we're getting already, you know, hey, we laughing at the hell that they're catching, man, because that's what they get. They should have repented and turned to the Lord and took heed. Verse 27, when your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, it says, then shall they call upon me and I will not answer. Uh, they shall seek me early, but shall not find me. Yes, yeah, so all the 12 tribes, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man, that uh, has been impacted by this uh, this tempest, this mighty storm, this hurricane. You see, the Lord ain't hearing your cries, man. You know, you know, but the but the men of the Lord or the elect that's uh, been hit by the hurricane or is going to uh, get impacted by the storm, you know, that the Lord is going to protect, man. And we're just hoping to be a part of that number, Lord's willing. Uh and especially when all hell break loose, man, our, our people are finished. It says, verse 29, it says, For they have hated knowledge and, choose none of, and, and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Verse 30 it says, They would none of my counsel. They despise, which means to hate all my reproof. Here's the point. Verse 31, it says, Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way. And be filled with their own devices. Yeah, you're going to eat the fruit of your own way. You're going to reap what you sow. You sow to the flesh. So now you're going to receive corruption, which means destruction, man. That's referring to the two-thirds of our people. Okay, starting off with those who know that they're Israelites, but they're teaching lies. They're teaching false doctrine. And they know they are. All the way down to the average is a uh, two-third, man. You see? You're going to eat the fruit of your own way. The Lord is going to uh, have you reap what you sow, right? Because the word devices means plans, man. What you do in the dark, you know, you're gonna uh you're gonna get judged by it, you know. By Yahweh by Shema Shah, it's gonna come to light. So now that's why, you know, hey, that's a fearful thing in itself. That's why we try to stay on point to the best of our abilities. Let's see what Lord Yahweh Shah said. Lord Yahweh Shah said that himself. This is the book of uh let's see. This is the book of Matthew. The 16th chapter. Let's see, verse 27. This is Matthew 16 and 27. It says, For the Son of Man, a title for Lord Yahweh Shah, shall come in the glory of his Father, Yahweh, who the world everyone calls God, with his angels, and he shall it's like it, and he, then he shall reward every man according to his works. So it's simple mathematics. If your works if you did works of righteousness, you're going to receive salvation and deliverance, okay? Because ultimately, you was of the elect. But if you are part of the two-thirds club, you see, you sold to the flesh, you know what I'm saying? You receive that MOTB, which is that forbidden rice, you're going to receive destruction, man. 
okay, according to the Bible. You know, Lo Yahweh said it himself, man. He when he brings the ultimate destruction, he's gonna re, uh, he's gonna reward everybody according to their works. Which the word reward, I got it on the screen. Return or recompense for service or merit. It says requital for good or evil. Yep. So if your works was evil, you're gonna get destruction. If your works was good, you're gonna receive salvation. As a matter of fact, um. Uh, Let's get Isaiah, let's see, where's it at? Isaiah chapter 65, is it? Isaiah 65, bear with me. Isaiah 65, let's see, is it is Isaiah 65? Let me see. Um. Let me see. Hold on, it might not be Isaiah 65. Okay, Salakia. Okay, let's see. Let's go to Lamentation then. Lord's willing, it'll come back to me if that's the right precept. Let's go to Lamentation. I know there's one of Lamentations. This is Lamentation. I think it's the third chapter. And the 64th verse. This is Lamentation chapter 3, verse 64. It says, Render unto them a recompense, O Lord. It says, according to the work of their hands. Yep, see? Render unto, them, render unto them a recompense, meaning pay back what they deserve. If they deserve destruction, get them, Lord. If they deserve salvation, protection, you know, hey, Lord, you bless them, man. You know, may the Lord, you know, protect them, you know? But for the two-thirds of our people, the, the works that they do, you know what I'm saying, in wickedness, they're going to receive destruction, man. All right, Yahweh by Shimon Shah controls both sides of the of the spectrum, man, and he's no he's no respect of persons as it is written. Let's bring out one more. Uh, this is the book of Revelation twenty two, uh, verse eleven says, "He that is unjust, aka wicked, let him be unjust still, and he that is filthy, let him be filthy still." Yeah, they want to be wicked. They don't want to take heed to correction. Just forget about her, man. You see? Because they're going to receive destruction. It says, And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, which means set apart, let him be holy still. Yep. And that's made. The water y'all by Shemal Shah. Barakatha y'all by Shemal Shah. For both sides. For the destruction and the blessing of the truth, the knowledge of wisdom and understanding, man. You see? To those that's able to receive it. Verse 12, it says, And behold, I come quickly, and my reward or paycheck is with me to give every man according to his work shall be. So, you see, there's going to be a blessing or destruction, man. We're just hoping to be on the side to receive that blessing, which is the elect, Lord's willing. Because the two-thirds of our people, they're getting and they're going to receive, keep receiving uh, gruesome judgment, man. That's Sirach, the 40th chapter in the ninth verse, you know, on down. That's what the two-thirds of our people are receiving. So, Lord's when that was edifying through the spirit, power of Yahweh, Shema, Shah, till next time I say, Shalom, Lord's willing.